The Titan, a small submersible operated by Ocean Gate, was designed to offer unique tourist experiences. By allowing visitors to discover the mysteries of the legendary wreck of the Titanic. However, on June 18, 2023, during its descent to the ocean depths, the submersible suffered a cataclysmic implosion, resulting in the total destruction of the craft and the tragic loss of life of its five occupants. Investigations are continuing to determine the exact causes of this devastating accident, some have speculated on the possible encounters the passengers might have made on their expedition to the ocean floor. In this captivating exploration, we now turn our attention to the many legendary entities that, according to popular tales, might cross the path of the daring sea explorers. From revered aquatic deities such as Mamiwata and Poseidon to mythical creatures like the Kraken, we'll be covering a wide spectrum of possibilities as we attempt to unravel the mysteries that lie at the bottom of the sea. As the submersible Titan began its descent into the abyssal depths, the passengers on board were about to venture into a mysterious world where legends come to life. According to popular tales and maritime folklore, encounters with extraordinary marine entities could have occurred during this unique expedition. The deep waters of the North Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Newfoundland conceal a wealth of legend and fantasy. Kraren. Among the most famous and feared mythical creatures of all time, the Kraken undoubtedly stands out. Its existence dates back to ancient times, when it was described as a gigantic cephalopod, often depicted in the form of an octopus or a giant octopus. This legendary sea creature embodies a ruthless force of nature, capable of inspiring both fascination and terror. Seafaring tales of your abound with frightening tales of ships engulfed in an instant, falling under the Kraken's terrible grip. Its sprawling tentacles wrap around ships with immeasurable power, sending them plummeting into the murky abyss. The mere mention of this mythical creature was enough to send shivers down the spines of even the most seasoned sailors. Now imagine the passengers aboard the Titan, the daring submersible, suddenly coming face to face with this legendary creature. An encounter with such a sea monster would certainly have aroused an intense mixture of terror and fascination in these intrepid explorers. The vision of the Kraken's monstrous tentacles, unfurling like giant snakes in the dark, uncharted waters, would undoubtedly have provoked shivers of dread. However, despite the terror, the experience would have been equally captivating, offering Titan passengers a privileged glimpse of the incredible diversity of marine life and the majestic grandeur of this legendary creature. They could have contemplated the raw power of the Kraken, realizing the immensity of the oceans and the fragility of man in the face of these indomitable forces. Among the other extraordinary marine entities that could have crossed the path of the Titan's passengers was Mami Wada, a water goddess revered in many African cultures. Legendary accounts describe her as an incomparably elegant aquatic entity, capable of seducing anyone who crosses her path. Her appearance is said to have been marked by an aura of charm and mystery, arousing both fascination and respect. Passengers would have been captivated by her ethereal presence, her radiant beauty evoking the power and magic of the deep sea. But Mami Wada was more than just a benevolent goddess. Like the tumultuous waves of the ocean, she could also reveal a darker side to her nature. There was a duality in her, capable of carrying both the bewitching beauty and the devastating wrath of the deep waters. During the Titan expedition, Mami Wada's manifestation could therefore have taken an unexpected turn. Poseidon. Beyond the Kraken and Mamiwata, another exceptional encounter could have awaited the Titans daring explorers in the tumultuous waters, that with Poseidon, the Greek god of the seas. Endowed with legendary strength and a personality as majestic as it is unpredictable, Poseidon could have manifested himself from the depths of the sea, creating an atmosphere charged with energy and majesty. Legends tell us, however, that Poseidon could provoke devastating storms and control the marine elements at will. Just imagine the Titan embarking on a daring descent into uncharted waters, when suddenly, swirling currents form around the submersible. A mysterious, powerful aura fills the atmosphere, 
foreshadowing the arrival of Poseidon, the guardian of the oceans. The Titan's passengers could then have perceived Poseidon's manifestation in a more subtle form, perhaps through the graceful movements of the sea creatures that accompany him in his kingdom. Dolphins, symbols of his benevolence, would have danced in harmony around the submersible, bringing a sense of serenity in connection with the underwater world. Such an encounter would have evoked in the passengers a mixture of wonder and apprehension at the grandeur and inordinate strength of Poseidon, the god of the seas. They would have been captivated by the vision of this mythical god, whose reign over the oceans evokes both the savage beauty and indomitable power of the waters, leaving a lasting imprint of respect and fascination in their minds. Alakan. What's more, during this expedition, the submarine's passengers could also have had an incredible encounter with Alakan, the deity of the waters revered in Yoruba beliefs. Considered the guardian of marine treasures and the secrets of the deep, Alakan would have offered the daring explorers an unforgettable glimpse of his underwater kingdom. With hypnotic grace, Alakan is said to have guided the Titan on an enchanting journey. Passengers would have witnessed unsuspected wonders, shimmering corals, schools of exotic fish dancing in perfect harmony, and strange, fascinating sea creatures populating the unexplored abyss. But that wasn't all. Alakan would share with them some of his deepest secrets, revealing ancient knowledge of the ocean's mysteries. He would reveal hidden paths to sunken treasures, artifacts lost for centuries and legendary relics that lay at the bottom of the waters. Unique discoveries that would undoubtedly have amazed passengers. Alakan's presence would have left an indelible imprint on the minds of these tourists, forever reminding them that the oceans hold unimaginable wonders and secrets just waiting to be explored. Leviathan in the abyssal depths where the Titan ventured, an encounter with Leviathan, one of the most imposing of all legendary creatures, would also have been possible. Ancient tales and maritime legends describe the Leviathan as a colossal sea monster, capable of shaking the oceans with its majestic presence. According to maritime folklore, the creature could even engulf entire ships with a single blow of its jaws, demonstrating its insatiable voracity. Imagine the Titan's passengers, immersed in an oppressive silence, scanning the dark, mysterious waters around them. Suddenly, a gigantic shadow emerges from the depths, revealing the impressive silhouette of the Leviathan. Its immeasurable power would have been palpable, while its piercing eyes would have scrutinized the submersible with indescribable curiosity and intensity. The Leviathan, with its massive body and gleaming scales, would have floated majestically close to the Titan, giving the passengers a striking vision of its grandeur. Ultimately, these hypothetical encounters with legendary entities transport us beyond the limits of our understanding, and remind us that the ocean is a realm of unsuspected richness, where the boundaries between the real and the imaginary become blurred. The stories of these mythical creatures, whether a figment of our imagination or perhaps concealing some truth, continue to nourish our dreams and our fascination with the unexplored depths of the ocean.